So I'm very much happy to extend a warm hearty welcome to Dr. Ajay Praveen Kumar to the second session of the day on a global perspective on climate change. I'm very much elated and enthralled to introduce such an eminent personality. He has to his credential a number of achievements of academic repute. He is presently serving as faculty in physics, DMI, St. Eugene University, Chibambo, Lusaka, Zambia, Africa since May 2018. His qualification is MSc Physics, BA, MPhil and PhD in Physics. He has participated and presented papers in five national and five international level conferences and participated in three workshops. He has published 12 research projects in reputed journals like Journal of Central South University, Journal of Material Science and Technology, which has focus index and with a high impact factor. He has been the editorial board member in Science Research Association. He added a feather to his cap by winning the best oral presentation award for his paper entitled Geometrical Structure, Vibrational Spectra and Thermodynamic Analysis at Nur al Islam Center for Higher Education, Kumarakoil Thakkalai on June 2016. We are very much honored today by his presence and I request him to take over the session. Welcome, sir. Thank you, one and all. Good morning, my dear friends and brothers and sisters. Thank you for giving this opportunity and I am very glad to stand here because uh, after my research, this is my first platform in India. Uh, so I am very glad to see you my dear sisters and brothers. So today I am going to take the second session. So first batsman uh, finished his innings in a very good manner. I'm going to take a leap now. So my topic about climate change. So this international conference is a very important thing in, era, in this era. Because I don't want to speak about uh, global. Uh, first of all, we have to speak about our, at least our native. Uh, I don't uh, speak up, I don't want to speak about a negative manner because uh, we are developing in that uh, climate change development and the sustainability uh, because from the 2016-17 to still now we have a development only in our uh, Tutubri district. So I'm going to give us some introductions and the history and. Uh, some impacts and what are the developments we take uh, I am going to speak today. Okay, so this is my topic. We have global perspective on climate changes and significant impacts. So let's see. Myself, uh, Ajay Praveen Kumar. Basically, I am a physicist. So today I am going to take the uh, global warming and the greenhouse effects regarding the physics. All the other topics uh, regarding the gender, I just leave my Next. So these are my content today. Just give uh, some introduction of a uh, topic and then history and then what are the impacts and what are the two to be now. Next. Climate change history. So last session, uh, Sah take over the general topics. But as a physicist, as a teacher, I have to take on uh, some of history and some of the theories I have to take it <laughs> as a teacher. So let me start. 
So history. So for the uh, climate change history, first of all we have to speak about only one thing that is the temperature. So temperature is the very main theme of this uh, session. Because the when temperature will raise, that means average temperature. So now we have an average temperature of almost 12 degrees Celsius. It will raise. But our scientists found in the last century, that means uh, 2019 century, we don't have uh, this kind much of temperature change. But we go to the future, that is 2100, next century, definitely it will raise up to 4 degrees Celsius. This is not a uh, small amount of temperature. It's almost a very, very big amount of temperature. I am speaking about the average temperature, average temperature, not at all the just temperature. This is average temperature. This is big amount. Our scientists will expert predict uh, it will uh, go 100 and, sorry, 2100 2 degrees Celsius. This is an actual thing. This is a good thing. But now this will be raised 2 degrees Celsius on the year of 2030. We reach that uh, temperature in within the 20 years. But the actual thing is we have to raise the temperature within the 100 years. But it will take only 20 years. This is a big problem. Almost 80 years behind in that climate change. So next. This is a uh, atmospheric pressure CO2. Why we taken the CO2? CO2 is nothing but carbon dioxide. What we uh, outtake, exit, that is a CO2. The, this CO2 is a mainly in the atmospheric uh, conditions. So in our year, we have atmospheric gas, lots of atmospheric gas are there, carbon dioxide, oxygen, carbon monoxide, lot of gas are there. This CO2 is the main thing of the, this atmosphere. So the CO2 gets almost 40 percentage in this uh, years, when uh, compared to the last centuries. So this is not a, a small amount, this is a very big amount. When you increase the CO2 level automatically, the temperature level also changed. So that is uh, given in that graph. You can see the graph level. This graph level will be gradually increased uh, in the 19th century. After the 19th century, the uh, when starting the 20th century, we have a lot of uh, improvement in the science and the technology. We have a lot of uh, uh, industries, actually, especially our Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu, we have a lot of industries. That industries will help to raise the temperature level. <laughs> Is the thing I will give the uh, graph next one. Next, one. the ocean heat automatically ocean heat also uh, improved. That means increased. So when ocean heat will increase, the uh, these coastal areas will uh, burning will going to burning. That is the main thing. Next, this global sea level. The sea level will be increased automatically. The continent uh, borders also uh, misplaced. So you see the African continent. African continent have an enormous amount of uh, terrestrial lines, but now that will become a very smaller continent. Becomes next one. Next. So this is the African continent. Uh, I given the dark place is the uh, uh, today's we have a continent. But that uh, shadow is that uh, we have already in the last centuries, 19th century, we have uh, this kind of much, this shadow. But after this centuries, temperature will raise automatically, snow will uh, melting and uh, range of the level of the uh, sea level will be raised. Automatically the continent will be very small one. Next. So this is around 2013, the continent uh, condition. Next. So now the big problem is temperature raise. This temperature will raise up to 2 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius. So I already told this temperature how to raise in the 2100 only 2 degree or 1.5 degree. That is normal condition. But now the 2200 years, sorry, 2100 years, it will be raised up to 4.8 degrees Celsius. This is not an ordinary thing. This is a very big issue, my dear friends. So let me see what is the causes next. 
So what is climate change? Can you explain, my dear uh, students, uh, sorry, uh, students, teachers, can you explain what is the climate change? Because uh, this session is a very, very uh, ordinary session, basic session. All the science students, not all the science students, all the social students also have to know what is the climate change. So you definitely know what is that climate change. So I already explained what is the climate change. This is a just temperature increment. So when temperature will increase, the climate, all the climate, all the weather will be changes. So you can see your uh, natives. Uh, our ancient peoples can say it like that. Uh, in nowadays, uh, the rain will be late, isn't it? The rain will be late and uh, snow falling. Uh, that also very late condition only. These all problems because of this climate changes only. Okay. So when temperature will rise, automatically all the weather will be changes. Next. What is the cost? What are the causes of that climate changes? Let me see what are the causes we have done and uh, what our country done. Next. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't see. Uh, that is a greenhouse effect and the global warming. So the causes for the climate change is the main thing is the global warming and the greenhouse effect. So my dear friends, all the students can have this idea because last session that uh, sir didn't say about this theory but as a teacher I have to give some theory about this uh, session so, so don't bother about this I don't take it very keenly okay just I grasp it okay next so this is our earth so my dear friends you just imagine our earth have a thin layer this layer is the atmosphere so you see just like the umbrella so this umbrella is protect us from the heat and the light and the rain, isn't it? So likewise, this atmospheric pressure will help to us to protect from the heat radiation from the sun. So heat radiation means not at all that just heat radiation. It will come a lot of radiations like UV radiations, IR radiations, and the uh, ordinary ultraviolet uh, visible radiations, isn't it? What is the UV radiation, anybody? Ultraviolet, isn't it? Right? I am infrared. Okay. So, which is the very harmful one? I am or UV? UV. UV. I am is okay. <laughs> both are when it's much more. Both are problematic only. Okay. So, uh, we need uh, some amount of heat energy from the sun. That is a, a requirement. When it's more, more than it will be problematic one. Next. So this is a radiation that comes from the air, uh, sun to the air. Next. So when the heat radiation will be more, uh, without this atmosphere, just imagine my dear friends, just we have a air, we don't have any air surfaces, uh, sorry, atmospheric air in that. Just air, just uh, imagine, we receive all the heat energy from the sun, what happens? It will burning. Isn't it? You just imagine uh, we are placed uh, one plant in the uh, atmosphere without any closing condition. So it plant will be very cooling at very high temperature, is, uh, isn't it? So when you give in some protect uh, for this plant, it will protect from the heat and the temperature, isn't it? So next. So why this all happens, my dear friends? Why this all happens? So this is a condition, uh, as a condition, this is a nature. We have a earth, we have a protection from the heat energy. But why this happens in the 20th century all this? Why? I'm asking to you. Please open your mouth. <laughs> only only of the students, ma'am. Uh, yeah, lot of conditions are there. Uh, main thing is uh, temperature rising. We Raising the temperature every time from the from the what get up from the get up from the bed we are starting the raising the temperature. First of all, we use the geysers and then use the fridge and use the AC and everything. We have to raise the temperature. We work on it for the temperature raising. Next. <coughs> so this heat radiation gives the temperature raising. Next. 
So these are the rays we already told, UV rays, infrared rays and the visible rays. This UV rays is uh, no problem. You all are knew about the ozone layers, isn't it? This ozone layers will protect the UV layers, isn't it? So that is a problem, nothing. Uh, the ozone layers have uh, some problem. That is a different problem. But nowadays, that UV rays protect by this ozone layer. And next is the infrared. This infrared is a problematic ray nowadays. Because this infrared rays will pass into the atmospheric layer, atmospheric air, and hit the Earth's surface. What happens next? It reflects to the against the atmospheric air. And what happens? It again and again it gather have the reflections. It raise the raise the what gases like the the atmospheric air. Next. So this air these gases are in the atmospheric pressures. There is a carbon dioxide, methane, vapor, and the chlorofluorocarbon. So these gases are the greenhouse gases. Okay, greenhouse gases. These gases are raised now. Thus, gases effects are raised now, and the temperature also raised. Next. So, what is the greenhouse effect, my dear friends? Greenhouse effect. Anybody? Simple answer. Simple answer. That is just, just a house. The glass house. You all are have seen in the Kodakanal or something. They are have the green color. House, uh, isn't it? They are planting the plant inside the. That is a greenhouse. So why we have that that kind of house? All the other plants are planting in the uh, or terrestrial and open surface only. Then why we have a green color surface? Because that green color house will uh, reduce the heat and uh, reduce the cold and uh, it's always in the warm condition. Inside the plants are always in the warm condition. That is the main thing. Likewise, our earth also inside the glass house here, like the atmospheric air. So it will become the warm and good condition. Okay. So this is the main thing and this is a simple theory of the greenhouse effect. Okay. So then it uh, infrared rays will be uh, getting back, back, back against to back means the atmospheric gases will be raised automatically temperature also raised that is the global warming that is a global warming can you understand my dear friends this is a simple theory of the global warming and the what greenhouse effect okay next so yes next so that is that happens heat will go off and then some of the heat will be uh, reflect so automatically inside the plants will be warm next next So what happens? We are doing what happens? The man-made disasters are that I mean, uh, insist this is a disaster by the man, not at all the problem. This is a big disaster. The logging, the waste, tree cuttings, that is a problem. Next, charcoal making, no. charcoal making and raising. These are done by our mankind only. We are doing the temperature raising. Next, we have a, a lot of electric items like uh, AC and uh, car, that the carbon dioxide will be come out from that, this kind of things. These are some magnets. And the pollution of water. Next. And these are the, some soil arrangements. So, I will that soil said uh, because we have a lot of problems in Australia and in Canada and Amazon. We have the fire and the floods. Because of that one, we have a lot of failures. So these are the main man-made disasters. So actually we are doing the global warming only. We didn't do anything for the decrease the temperature. Anybody plant a tree? Anybody? Have you planted a tree? Anything? Anybody? Any child? Not about a garden or something in your home. I am asking about tree. Tree. You plant, do you grow? Are you growing the tree? Yes. Daily you give a water or something. So good thing my dear friends, uh, I didn't do anything. 
but I my team uh, do the the good in the Zambia because I'm in Zambia only. So I'm doing <laughs> that uh, that kind in my universities. Next. So some consequences of global warming. Next. So these are the consequences we have done and our industry has done and our politicians done. Okay. So a lot of consequences in the, all the places, not at all the simple places. They uh, produce the decrease, the increment of the temperature in the universe, like the physical way and the biological way and human way. Okay, next. So for the uh, problems, we have raised a lot of problems. First one is that crop failure. The crop failure is the main theme from that climate changes. That means these global warming changes. You see the picture that uh, maize, maize have some problem in that rice. This problem is because of from the, this echo changes only, not at all any changes. Because from the beginning, we don't give any fertilizers to that crops, isn't it? But nowadays we have to give for the this place. Fulfill this place. In before, no need to fulfill ourselves. They itself, they fulfill himself, okay? So now, this food shortage and the many problems will arise because of this eco problem. Next. And this disaster. This crop failure and the forage and the terrestrial will become like that. A uh, lot of failures are happening in the African continent, not at all our Asian continent. African continent, almost uh, Somalia, like that countries are, have this problem. Next. So what happens? So all the world uh, leaders have to uh, organize the team and have to give the some protocol. That protocol is Kyoto Protocol. This protocol is called Kyoto Protocol. They have the protocol from the 2018 to 2020. So first commitment will be finished. This is only based on to reduce that greenhouse gases uh, five percentage. So that is the main theme of this protocol. All the nations put together and work on it. And 2030 to 2020, it will happen now. So almost we have attained, I think so. Next. So how can we contribute in reducing global warming? So as a teacher, uh, you can teach your students and you can stimulate your students easily. So because you teach for the very small students, isn't it? So all the students have this knowledge and they are working on it. Because uh, for the students, you are the hero of the uh, students, every students, I think so. So when you start the teaching about this global warming and the heat gases, automatically they uh, starting the planting, first of all. So next. So help prevent global warming. So this is happening, my dear friends. We have ice cream. So you just imagine, before 19th century or 18th century, you have ice cream means that will melt within a half an hour or something. But if you have ice cream nowadays means it will melt within a five minutes. This is a difference between the, that era and the, this era. This is a main difference between the climate change also. So at least this ice cream, you just imagine my dear friends that snow falling. The Arctic snow falling, what happens? That a thousand tons of snows are melting. So that's a big problem. Next. So for reducing the waste generation, you have to use the waste stages. What happened? So reducing the use of products which generate greenhouse effect. Next. Next. So using efficient effect. Next. Next. These are the, you just, yeah. Finally, you have to think about your things. This is just pictures, but you have to think about and you have to do with them. Okay, so when you come from your home, you start uh, come together. If you have a vehicle means come one or two people in a single vehicle. And if you have a car, no problem. You have come in six or four, four in a single vehicle. That is a no problem. This is a together. Next. The three main levels of climate impacts. The three level main. So I will be told that is a physical, uh, biological and the human impacts. Next. 
So physical, what is the physical impact you can tell? What is the physical impact? Don't see that. <laughs> physical impacts. That means uh, climatical change in the geometrical change in the world. So that means snow falling, rainfalls, uh, lack of rain. That is the physical changes. Next, that is the biological changes. That means the, when you have a physical changes in the terrestrial, automatically the biological ways animals will uh, mitigation. That they have the migration from the one place to another place. That is the main problem in that biological way. Next, the human effects. Human effects are done by Madam Sid. That is the industries and a lot of uh, problems arised by the man. That is the impacts by biological way. Sorry, human way. Next. Next. So the same things. I do. This is a interrelationship between the effects. What, uh, for example, trolls frequently cause wildfires which then destroy the crops. So if you have a fire in that forest or any crops means automatically that uh, affect the, all the agriculture lands also. Okay, so this is the interrelations between the two impacts. Next. So this is an impact uh, graph of the physical system, biological system and the human system. You can see uh, that the snow melting automatically what happens, warming, snow falling and uh, the inside the erratical and the throat and the forest happens in the next level of biological system. Automatically it comes to the biological system. So all the animals and the forests will be migrate from one place to another place. When you place the migrate, and then it comes to the human system. We have a lot of disasters because of the human. This is the interrelationship between the three years. Okay, next. Okay, so now I finished all the main topics of the things. What are the things I have to give and what are the things I have to give, I will give. Okay, so now I switch over to the Tutupri. Okay. Uh, uh, when I search in the uh, picture of Tutupuri net, uh, I got this kind of picture only. Really, first of all, because uh, this picture is no, uh, sorry, no <laughs> effect from the, uh, some other industries. Okay, so I need, need not to speak about other industries. Uh, that is a uh, different thing. But next. So now, what are the environmental challenge faced by Tutupuri? So you can uh, face every day. When you come from your home, you can easily understand. So, but uh, now raised, uh, now reduced, I think so. Because uh, uh, in early days, uh, before uh, four years ago or uh, six years ago, when I go to the any beaches or anything, I just take my uh, face from that. I just have the dust particles. Have the dust particles. But now I don't have. Uh, because I'm proud of my district, uh, now reduced. Uh, and here, yeah, water, noise, pollution are very, very important environmental issue nowadays. And another one, my dear friends, our district is the only one district non-attainment cities by Ministry of Environment Primary on the basis of PM10. PM10 is nothing but just a dust particle. I don't know dust. I just have the dust in my face. That dust particle is a PM10. According to that, our Indian scientists uh, have the, some amount of PM10. PM means uh, particular, um, particular matter. Particular matter means some amount of matter. Nowadays, in, in our district, what are the matters are what means? That is uh, sulfur dioxide and nitrous dioxide, carbon dioxide. These are the particular matters uh, exist in our year, in our district year. That is lot of amount of year is there. And this is amount is very high when compared to the other districts and other states also. No state has this kind of amount. Uh, I speak about ordinary states, not all the other states. Ordinary states have a ordinary amount means it will have more than three, more than three times it have a PM10 particles is there in our tutupri. Next. So this is the same pictures. It is uh, taken from that uh, NLC. Next. So do you imagine how many industries we have in our, in our district? We have almost 438 industries. 
small scale, bigger scale industries, almost 438 industries, only two to three and water garden towns. So these categories are three types, that is the red uh, category, larger one, and red category, smaller one, and orange category, that is at 277. So almost we have at 438 small and the bigger scale industries. All the industries should uh, help to raise the temperature. Next. So, amendment air quality stations. So, this air quality station is a very, very important for the every industrial areas. So, if you have a lot of industries in old city, means you have to maintain this amendment air quality station in the every station. Sorry, every industries. That is a must. But in our area, we have some of the air quality stations in some industries like Raja Agency, Sipcot and the ADM building. I appreciate all the uh, industries. Um, and uh, you can see the other stations like the Thermal Power Line, MRC Tamil Nadu and Private Credit Commission and the Sipcot stations and the adjacent sterling copper. And I mentioned the sterling copper also. Sterling copper also have the this air quality station, but not at all the private, sorry, not at all the own. This is tired with our port, Vivo's port, okay. So our sterling copper don't have a, this kind of air quality station. Just they tie up with the NRC and the Vivo's port only. Our politician will support also for this era. <laughs> Next. Health statements for air quality index categories. This is the health statement being given by our air quality stations. First of all, 0 to 50 means that is good. 51 to 100, that is satisfactory. So these are the ranges. My dear friends, can you say which level we are, we are being in our district? Which level? Do you know? Now, in this year, we are which level? Huh? Why? <laughs> Why? In this year, 2019 and 2020, we are in satisfactory level. We are in satisfactory level and we are going to 2016 means it will up to, can you imagine? Can you imagine which level? 2015 to 2016 level. We are in above 500. Above 500. So next, next, next. So you see the two degree level, AQL level and polluted percentage. So this blue color is the AQL level and this orange color uh, reputed the polluted percentage. So in the 2017, my dear friends, it will go to 600. So level will be 600. So when you reach the 600, what happens? It will be a, the cancer, that is above very poor. <laughs> Okay, so percentage of polluted, the air will be polluted almost 84 percentage, only 50 percentage of air will be pure. We, we inhale the only 15 percentage of air, other 85 percentage will be unpure. Next 18, it will be reduced because we start the uh, something. So it will be reduced. And then 2019, we reach the 100. So I, uh, initially I said I am proud of my district. So it will be reduced. So almost we are in safe zone now. Now, Next. So industrial contribution and the satisfaction in AQ level. These are the some industrial give the some contributions for that uh, AQ level reducing. So they are trying to uh, do the lot of uh, programs and they are a lot of planting and uh, maintaining the air quality. Say, they have that, this kind of improvement. Next. So problems. So now, now we are in the safe zone, I think so, but what about the 2030 and above? It have a biggest problem. So maybe our area will become like that. Next. The 2010, study the particular uh, journal have the 
The response of the study had various health issues in the tooth brain. This journal is especially written by the tooth brain only. So skin diseases, eye irritation, asthma, allergy, respiratory problems, cancer and hypertension. So the dust particle will raise the tension also. Next. Next. And the still bed, bed defects, normally defects, cancers like breast, testicular and protest cancer. This all are happens in because of this. Next. Okay. What are the sustainable development we have in our tutubri? Can you have an idea? What are the sustainable development we have our government done for ourselves? Do you have an idea? All the students are come from Tutubri, I think so. No? Yeah. So, do you have any idea? So, next. So, our government try to reduce the vehicles because we have a lot of industries so for the industries wise we have to have the uh, raw materials from the other places and uh, when you have a raw material transportation automatically that dust particle will be comes from the vehicles and the roads also so our government will produce sorry <laughs> reduce the uh, transportations okay next they reduce the buses private buses and the government buses okay they reduce that private buses and our government tried to put the over bridges in the, all the areas in the Tutubri city so they are trying next and they planting the 10,000 trees planting the 10,000 trees in our area that I don't know yes coal fired thermal plants contribute and the thermal based plants trading companies and power plants so now we have thermal power, so, but in uh, future they are trying to put the action of switching the generation of power thermal plants into coal fired. So before we used in the another coal for the thermal power planting, our, uh, have the, our government have the plan for the thermal plants renewable sources like wind and solar plants before December 2023. This is a planning, so we will attain quick. Next. So these are the some center, state government research institutions for the our uh, two to three districts. We have almost uh, one, two, three, four, five, five institutions, research institutions on the for the this kind of uh, missions. Next. Next. Sustainability life. So this is a general one. So my dear friends, what are the sustainability we have to done for our life what we do as a teachers as a person as a citizen what we do sustainability life so ordinary thing we have to think lot of things next the circular knowledge economy the other life of book so simply we can say palaya book use pannunga Okay, because this is a reproduction of papers. Reproduction of paper is a problem. But if you use the books, books, Next. Electric vehicles as but with renewable energy. Electrical way to use panga, but uh, don't use the uh, unrenewable energies. You just use the solars and the wind energies from the uh, some other sources. Okay, that is the main thing. Uh, nowadays, the government have the project about this uh, electrical vehicles. So almost 2050, we reach the almost 70 percentage of vehicles are in the electrical purposes. Sorry, electrical vehicles only. That is the main thing. Next. Responsible consumption and the benefits of local consumption. Market where I have chosen to buy, buy, export, buy, export, buy, buy. Hello, local level only. You just consume from the locals. Uh, go and buy from the market, fish market and the vegetable market and local shops, petty shops. Okay, so that is good consumption. Because when you start the 
uh, export or import from the other sides automatically that will raise the temperature uh, which means that uh, 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 the transport lines it will raise okay so likewise lot of problems are arise so you just use the local uh, conception next I have a confusion when I when I start uh, both English and speak, so I just uh, forget some words. Sorry. And debugging the myths about recycling. So recycling, recycling means that is a different thing. You all are uh, thought about that differently because when recycle the water things or wasted things, that is also waste now. So that is a thing. That is a myth. So don't uh, fight all things. This is a different condition of wastages. Recycle the wastages. Okay. So try to understand my dear educational friends. Next. Next. Land sustain. Land sustainability bike and life expressionality. Kinding your bicycle in half an hour to a day increases life expectancy in four years. Uh, we have started in our uh, university. Many of my colleagues and myself, we brought the cycle and start to uh, have a cycling from the university to our quarters. So you also have to raise the cycling. Okay, next. So unplugging the phone charger when it is not used saves up to 7 kilos of CO2 a year. 7 kilos of years. So because we are always plugging in the charger, always put the charger in the phone. It is full or uh, not full, we are always in the plug. Avoid this. Okay, don't use. That is a almost 7 kilos of CO2 per year. Next. If energy efficient light bulbs were used worldwide, just our building will be annually saved. So use the bulbs. Don't use the maybe high level of efficient lights and the other things. Just try to use the bulbs that we use, that can be used. You just use. Don't avoid the bulbs. Next. Calculate your water footprint. What is the water footprint? Water footprint is nothing but you have to know about the what is the usage of the uh, uh, water in the daily life. If you go to any place, what is the usage of that uh, water? You have to calculate by yourself. Next. So you see, one kilo of beef, one kilo of beef, we have uh, 16,000 liters of water is there. And one cup of coffee, 140 liters of water. 1 liter of wine, 1870 liters of water. So this is a big amount. Why we insert here means, you just imagine, this is a protection amount of water. If you protect uh, uh, 1 cup of coffee, if you produced cup, uh, coffee, coffee uh, seeds now, you produced means, you have to use the 140 liters of water. If you grew up the beef, one kilogram beef means that beef needs the thousand liters of waters. And likewise potatoes. One kilo of potatoes need 277 liters of water. So you get the food, not at all the least way. We used lot of water. So you have to mind about that. So you easily throw out the food and uh, it is a huge amount of water. Just imagine and don't waste. Next. Calculate your carbon footprint. So you have to calculate your area and your district and your nature, at least your home. You have to calculate your footprint. This is the calculate your carbon footprint. This is in net that is available. You go and search in the web and you can search your, sorry, you can find your carbon footprint. How much amount of carbon will be produced by yourself in your home or your street. You can easily find out. Next. Guide to responsible fish consumption. Guide to responsible for fish consumption. Fish consumption is very, very important for our tutorial. 
because the fish consumption is a very mainly business in the uh, current situation. So in the fishers, uh, all the times uh, cannot fish in from the sea, isn't it? Because sometimes we have a fishing uh, restriction time is also there. Some months May or something, isn't it? So we have uh, which one? May. So we have uh, some restriction by the 40 days uh, per year. So that time we 60 days. Sorry. Uh, 60 days we have a restriction time, fishing time. So at that time, fishers will be affected, isn't it? They don't have uh, any other business. So for that uh, reduction, we have to do this responsible fish consumption method. Next. So for that method, we use the aquaculture method. In the sea, we have to produce the aquaculture ponds and we can produce the fishes in that time. So when you have a production in that time, we easily catch the fishes uh, in the restriction time areas. Okay, it will help the fishers to uh, maintaining this business. So this is a worldwide business nowadays going on. In our India, we don't have the project, but in future, we definitely done this project. Next. So this is that, that aquaculture in the future. In the uh, sea or in the biggest pool, we have the aquacultures inside the inside the seas okay this is aquacultures next so we have uh, some of the percentage we will give for the food policy institute to elaborate the 2030 to thirds of the world uh, fish consumption both human consumption 77 percentage of create fish oil and fish meals 23 percentage it's okay So same thing is will be given, what I have done. So next. So thank you. Save the earth. Try to save the earth. And another thing, uh, how many of them have the AC in your room? Not about the hall or anything, in your room. So every hall and the room, do you have a AC means just to stop it? So AC, the main concept of the AC is purifying the air, not about the cooling the air, purifying the air, that is the air purifier or air conditioner. Okay, if you want to condition your air in your hall or room means just grow on the inside planting, home planting. Okay, if you have a four number of plants in your ten, 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 ten room means it will purify your air easily. So don't use the AC in your all rooms. So just try to reduce the AC consumption. Because the AC is a very big issue. Because without the fridge we cannot, I accept, but AC is a bigger issue nowadays. But that gas name is Priyam. So nowadays that uh, gas is used to very huge amount for the cooling. So don't use, that will affect your respiratory. Always smoking, sorry, always uh, uh, inhale means it will pr produce uh, many problems and use the good plants inside plants it will reduce your temperature as well as your purify your hair also okay thank you my dear friends thank you for your calm listening i am just given the lecture i i knew i don't give the one easy way <laughs> explanation for all things uh, i hope you Listen to my all the slides. Thank you, my dear friends. If you have any suggestions, please give me. I made some mistakes, which I'm sorry. Uh, if you give us some suggestions or any questions, please, you just arrange, we will discuss. No problem. Otherwise, uh, please uh, apprise me. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. I call upon Dr. A. P. Sharanatha, Associate Professor of Physical Science, to present a memento to Dr. A. Ajay Praveen Kumar as a token of her gratitude. Thank you, ma'am. And another one, uh, this opportunity 
was given by my uh, teacher, <laughs> be a teacher, uh, Ms. Nina Man. Uh, she only given the opportunity for this uh, platform. Very thankful, ma. <laughs> and my another teacher also there, Ms. Mageshwari. Uh, thankful my dear teachers. All the teachers are supporting me here. And this is a uh, mainly development for my life, I think so. <laughs> they are supported very well. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, all the other colleagues also uh, welcomed very well. And the principal, ma'am, they given the good uh, hospitality to me that will uh, give the good encouragement for my speech and the students. Uh, first of all, I have a nervous uh, when I start the speaking, when I was starting the speaking, uh, because all the students are almost uh, girls, uh, because the African girls are different. Uh, they, they are uh, very usual, <laughs> very easy for, uh, easy way girls, but our Indian girls are very sensitive and new. Uh, so I have a nervous, <laughs> first of all, but now I don't have any nerves. Uh, some of the gents are uh, there. Thank you for the support, my dear friends. Thank you.